Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2022 Topps Gypsy Queen Baseball 5 box. Random team break number 6, second half of that case we popped open yesterday. One spot gets you three teams, so let's triple you up. And all 30 teams are in. Let's roll it, randomize names and teams. 6 and a 5, 11 times. 1, 2, And 11 then final time. After 11, we got Barry down to Kevin. Six and a five, 11 times for the teams. One, two, three. Seven, nine, 10, and 11 then final time. After 11, we got the M's. Down the Orioles, so here's how it shakes out. All right, Barry, you got the Mariners, Levi with the Astros, Charles with the Tigers, Nick with the Reds and the Nats, Barry with the Giants, and Levi with my Dodgers. Matthew with the Guardians, Levi with the Diamondbacks, Nick with the Braves, Charles with the A's, Kevin with the Brew Crew, Kenneth with the Padres, Kevin with the Angels, Nick with the Cubs, John with the Royals and Blue Jays. Barry with the Red Sox, Matthew with the Cardinals, John with the Rockies, Nick with the Marlins, Kenneth with the uh, Rangers, Charles, you got the Phillies, Levi with the Yankees and Twins, Kenneth with the Mets, Nick with the White Sox, Levi with the Rays, Matthew with the Pirates, and Kevin with the Baltimore Orioles. Let's sort by column B by team. And we're going to pause the video and allow uh, have a little uh, trade window. We'll open up a little trade window, and uh, when we come back, we'll see if there's any trades, and then we'll have the break. We'll see you on the other side. All right, welcome back, everybody. No deals were done here on Monday the 23rd. Random team break number six, second half of the case we popped open not too long ago. I think last night, actually. And another half case break is loaded up if you want to jump back into a little Gypsy Queen baseball. I may need some more top loaders here. Appreciate everybody, uh, everybody getting into the action. Remember I put those blue X's over the GQ symbol. So we know they're all from the uh, same case. What are we looking for? Two on-card autos per box on average, I'm sure, and then all sorts of different fun numbered cards and whatnot. Thanks everybody for the fill. Let's see what's going on in the world of baseball as I open up these packs. Twins beat the Tigers 5-4. Tyler Anderson had thrown for my Dodgers, thrown a no-hit ball through like six or seven innings. Gave up only one hit in the, uh, in the eighth, I think. Dodgers beat the Nationals 10-1. They're going to see uh, their old prospect, Josiah Gray. Not old. He's young. But their former prospect, Josiah Gray, tomorrow. Got Josiah Gray in my fantasy team. I'm conflicted. <laughs> I say I want him to pitch six, seven strong innings, and then the Dodgers winning... Then finally scoring runs late in the game after he's out. Orioles beat the Yankees 6-4. But Judge clobbers homers number 16 and 17 of the season. You gotta love that. The guy rejects an extension from the Yankees. Uh, essentially betting on himself. And then has 17 home runs already in, uh, you know, in late May. So, 
Good on Aaron Judge. His price tag goes up every every homer he hits. All right, we'll check in on the other games in the next box. And I think you got we got some basketball on the background. I think the the Celtics are cruising right now. They're up 100 to 82 with two minutes left in the game. I think I may have to switch to something a little more, maybe some hockey. Abs at Blues, Colorado Avalanche at the St. Louis Blues. Maybe this is a more competitive game. All right. Abs are up 3-1 beginning of the second period so there's still a lot of game to be played really like the design of uh, of Gypsy Queen this year there's our first autograph I believe that's Taylor right T walls Taylor walls that's Levi with the Tampa Bay Rays and I'll do an autograph recap along with any low numbered cards at the end of the break Nice Wander Franco, Chrome, and a O'Neill Cruz die cut. And uh, Levi, once again, with the Rays. Wander Franco having a great season thus far. And I think I read somewhere that he may be hitting this well and a little banged up. Key Brian Hayes. And that's a variation, obviously. Black and white. Colton Welker, 26 out of 50. Different parallel. There's Aaron Judge, hitting real well. Jonathan India to 99. Leo Tavares to 199. I don't think that Wander was numbered, right? No. So that's for the Rangers. That's going to go to Kenneth and the Jonathan India. I think we can kind of see a slightly different color on the on the border. That's for Nick Koba and the Red Legs. Still haven't seen our second auto yet, somewhere in here. Brandon Nemo to 399. That's for Kenneth. Ken, Ken getting the Brandon finding Nemo. Uh, Matt Manning. We got Jesus Aguilar to 99 for the fish. Nick Koba. And there's the auto. Trey Auburn Gay. Ron Cincinnati. Nick Koba. We're on Cincinnati. All right, next box, box two. 
of five. All right, um, Cubs beat the Reds seven to four. And I guess uh, Ian Happ hit a 401 foot homer into the right field bleachers. Pirates edged out the Rockies in Pittsburgh two to one. Could Brian Hayes opposite field RBI double? At the end of the fourth inning, Mets are leading the Giants 5-2. to two. Some games in progress. A's Mariners are tied at the bottom of the bottom of the fourth in Seattle 3-3. Top of the fourth in San Diego, Brewers up 2-0. Brewers got the bases loaded with one out. Royals and Diamondbacks are tied in the desert in Arizona, 5-2. To five and at the end of the eighth, Guardians leading the Astros six one. And in the tenth, bottom of the tenth, runners on the corners with two outs left. Two outs, two outs left with one out left. With two outs, Blue Jays Cardinals are tied at three. Bird Bird team Bird on Bird crime. Tied at three. Two outs in the bottom of the 10th, runners on first and third for the Cardinals. Real time, got a little tidbit for us. I wouldn't have thought Vlad Guerrero Jr. would have a .9 war, wins above replacement, and Dalton Varsho is at 1.7 war at this moment. That is kind of crazy. Yeah, Diamondbacks actually have a a good crop of youngsters coming up the ranks. They're they're a little uh, little raw, but good crop of prospects that we've been seeing in a lot of products over the years. There's Jaron Duran Duran to 199, hungry like the wolf. Oh, and an O'Neill Cruz autograph redemption, popping, surprising me here. Matthew with the Pirates, and Jaron Duran Duran will go to Barry and the Red Sox. Save some of these Wander Francos. Ian Anderson, 377 out of 399. Twins, 
for the Braves. That'll be for Nick. Christian Yelich to 50. That's for the Brew Crew. That'll be for Kevin. Here's a uh, Wander Franco GQ gem insert or mini. It's for Levi and the Rays. Lucas Giolito to 150. For the White Sox, that'll be for Nick. And our second auto, Connor Siebold? Yeah, Connor Siebold. C. Siebold. Nice. Rookie auto for Barry in Boston. Next box. Now have the bases loaded in the bottom of the tenth. Check that. Cardinals have the bases loaded in the bottom of the tenth. And, wow, a hanging slider, Paul Goldschmidt launches one 366 feet to left field, walk-off grand slam. I wonder if MLB Network has this play. The game is getting a little away from the blues, we'll check back on that a little bit later. There it is, MLB Network. Got Luis Patino. Another Ray for Levi. 
Is Andrew Benintendi playing well this year? This is the slider that Ryan, Randy Baruki is going to hang. Ooh. He just golfs it right into the first row. Walk off Granny. There he is, Paul Goldschmidt. I know vet commons don't ship in this, but I'm going to send one of these off to Matthew. Because why not? Just hit a grand slam. Got some gold coming up. It is Hoy Park. 11 out of 50. For uh, That's also for Matthew. Matthew and the Pirates. A little green coming up here. What do we got? Yeah, it's Raul Mondesi. Adalberto Mondesi, that is. 173 out of 199. Oh, you're watching it live. Nice, Matt. Goldie kind of kind of underrated. He shouldn't be underrated, but, but I feel like he is. Tanner Hawk, 399. Real time saying Bobby Wood Jr. just took Zach Davies out with a 105 mile per hour shot to the shin and ankle. Oof. He's having a big year, Matt saying, Paul Goldschmidt. He usually has a slow start, but not this year. There's Aaron Nola. And there's Dalton Varsho, who's also playing well this year. 33 out of 99. And there's our second autograph. And that is Yoel Pozo for the Rangers. It's going to go to Kenneth in the Rangers. Levi has the uh, Diamondbacks. All right, next box. I met Paul Goldschmidt very briefly. We were uh, the Jaspies team. Some of us were at in Arizona, maybe. This is before Goldschmidt went to the Cardinals. Um, he was still with the Diamondbacks, and Tops had an event, their Tops conference. Scottsdale, I want to say it was. And uh, there was like an outing that they that they did for us, which was a lot of fun. We got to go to the uh, I think the Diamondbacks and the Rockies. I think share spring training facilities, but we were there, and. Uh, we got to hit in the batting cages, which is really cool. I did not embarrass the Jaspi team in front of our uh, in front of our peers in the industry. Tag some nice hits. I think it was going like 
think it was very, I think it was maybe like 60 miles per hour, but, um, but yeah, got, got some cuts in on a professional, uh, in a professional baseball batting cage. And then the special guest was Paul Goldschmidt, who was signing some autographs for about a hundred people or so. And, uh, really nice dude. And just kind of said hi to everybody and, you know, it, was, it seemed like he was happy to be there. You know, a lot of times it's hit or miss with players, right? Like, these events. Some people are just like, I want to get in, sign, get out, but you know, kind of took 30 seconds with everybody to say hello, take pictures and whatnot. And just a really, really nice dude. Yeah, super humble guy, you know, like, you know, and just seemed like really chill at this event. And it was cold. It was, I think it was in January, so it's still pretty cold in the, in Arizona. So it was cold outside and, you know, it, no, he was he was really nice about it. Seemed seemed like a really good dude. Gilo says, "Don't mean to brag, but you're playing PGA 2K. You pulled a Justin Thomas to win the Waste Management in Phoenix Open after being down six strokes. What level are you playing at, Gilo?" Wait till you click the settings to like I, I'm on amateur. And uh, I'm on amateur and the opponent setting like normal or something like that in PJ2K, it gets really hard. And you gotta have the swing timing on. The, if the downswing timer isn't on, it gets, it's, it gets pretty easy. All right, I got a Brady Singer. For the Royals, that's Gilo's team. This goes to John, got randomized Kansas City. Jaron Duran, Duran. Next little stack. Brady Singer making a comeback. Nice. Dust off your Brady Singers, G Lo says. Matt said, your only spring training stories when you were like 16 met Marquise Grissom and Delino De Shields. Meaning met meaning <laughs> you yelled at them through the fence. I feel like Axis has gotten a lot a lot better over the years. Delino De Shields. Remember when the Dodgers traded Pedro Martinez to the Expos for Delino De Shields? Too small, they said. <laughs> There's Rodolfo Castro, the no name variation for the Pirates. That's for Matthew. Pedro Martinez, too short, too skinny. Won't, it won't be able to withstand the, the rigors of, of the MLB season. He's smaller than his brother, Ramon Martinez, who the Dodgers also had. Out of 250, Andrew Benintendi. Yeah, they thought Ramon was better. At the time, he was, but... Remember when they traded? When remember when the Dodgers traded uh, traded Paul Canerco to the Reds for closer Jeff Shaw? I want to say.
And we've got no name variation autograph that looks like Brandon Crawford, right? That'll be for the Giants, Barry Roberts. And my rivals, the Giants. Although Jeff, they did need a closer at the time, I think. And they, uh, They did need a closer at the time, and he did shut down a lot of games, but Paul Canerco did did go on to hit to hit a bunch of home runs. How many did he end up with? Ended up hitting 439 home runs. Paul Canerco is pretty underrated. And I think since then, I was like late 90s, yeah. I think since then, they, they, they daughter spent like another five, three to three to five seasons, five to seven seasons or something like that, looking for a, looking for a steady first baseman. I think they thought James, remember James Loney was going to be that guy. I think. Yeah, they had drafted James Loney in the first round in 2002. So he was coming up the system. Canerico ended up getting traded. Oh, well, actually, he was drafted after he was traded in. They've been looking for a first baseman since. But I think, yeah, they didn't get one until maybe that Adrian Gonzalez trade, maybe. stack of this final box. Thanks, everybody. Trevor Story starting to heat up a little bit. It's good for the Red Sox. Some Wander Franco rookie card. Yeah, this is a lot of base. Gypsy Queen, pretty, pretty base heavy. There's Justin Upton to 250 for the Halos. That's going to go to Kevin. And there's Jim Abbott. Nice. Old school Jim Abbott. And watch, watch, watch some YouTube videos of him like pitching and then switching gloves to his other hand. It's great. 39 out of 99. What's Jim Abbott doing these days? He currently works as a motivational speaker. That makes sense. His son has cards now?
the Kenzie Gore, the next Kershaw? There's Tyler Stevenson for the Reds to 399. Andrew Abbott? Yeah, he was picked up by the Reds. And the final stack. Good luck, everybody. Joey Votto to 150 for the Reds. And our last autograph is for the Metropolitans for Kenneth. That is Patrick uh, Mazika. Christian Yelich. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. We did it. That was 2022 Tops Gypsy Queen Baseball five box random team break number six. One spot gets you three teams. And we've got another half case break in the store right now. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. And that half case is from a fresh case. So there you have it. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time for the next baseball break. Bye bye.